Hey, I'm Chocolate Cake. Uh, welcome back to Kaizo 3. Uh, so this level is kind of dumb. <laughs> um, I uh, this is post commentary because I recorded it and it was turning out to be really boring to watch because uh, the original recording was about 23, 25 minutes. And uh, this is a a maze level. It's a puzzle maze. Uh, not a platforming level, so it was a lot less interesting. Um, so I'm not sure what that was about, but uh, it's a lot less interesting than most of the other levels, even the ones that really pissed me off, because this one kind of pissed me off for a different reason, because it was um, kind of impossible to figure out. I'm honestly not sure how you're supposed to figure out some of these puzzles. Like, I guess that will tell you that there's a door um, in places that you wouldn't be able to see. So, I guess that's kind of your cue to um, check every single place for secret hidden doors. Which, uh, kind of a shitty way of um, making something. Uh, if you ask me. So, uh, I edited it down, edited it down uh, a lot, and um, we've already actually missed the uh, first door that we were supposed to take. Um, if you if you jump down here, you're stuck in a loop. There's no way to get out of here. Um, so. Yeah, that's we're already off to a great start uh, in a maze that's impossible to escape now. Uh, so what you're supposed to do uh, is go down the pipe, and there's actually a door on the ledge. Well, if we can make it there, there's a door right here. Um, and there's no possible way to get up there uh, aside from when you start the level. So... Uh, you might be here for a very long time, or uh, just be like me and give up, <laughs> uh, and then start over again. Uh, so we got our Yoshi pal in this level, which is always always nice. Um, another uh, another thing about this level that I didn't like is. You, you do the same things over and over again, which I guess uh, in some cases can be kind of interesting if you do it like in new and unique ways, but in this you're, you basically just go around in a circle over and over again. I mean here we're getting to a new place because we got Yoshi, um, so we can walk on the munchers and get over here, but of course there's bricks that we need to be big to break. So, we're going to have to get big, come back here again, and go through that place. Uh, we need this P-switch in order to do that. And I'm having a little issues jumping off Yoshi there. Uh, and I guess something important to keep in mind is, you can take switches through pipes, but you can't take them through doors. So, you have to navigate your way back around through the maze uh, without using any doors uh, until you get to the place you want to. Uh, and over here is a fun little uh, music block platform and a mushroom. So that's uh, exactly what we need to uh, get to that pipe that was blocked off. Now we just have to kind of figure out how to get back there, because um, the, uh, the way we got to Yoshi before was with, um, with the door that is right to the right of here uh, when you come in. So we need to find a way back there, um, and the way back there is by using the P-switch, one up here. Didn't mean to hit that. 
Well, let me get a nice disco party as we're running over here. Back to the pipe that has Yoshi. So, like I said, uh, run around in circles over and over again. At this point, you can probably figure out what we're going to do. We're going to get the star, get Yoshi big, and then we're going to go back through the pipe. We're going to go around the top, run across the munchers, and then we can spin jump those uh, yellow blocks. Uh, yeah, I'm <laughs> not a huge fan of this level. I think the, the puzzle design is a little obtuse with invisible doors that you're basically uh, you're out of luck if you don't think to check like every single square. I kinda missed that joke. Now we've uh I was, I was looking at that block over there because I thought there was a way to get back over here and maybe see this uh, door here. So I was looking at ways that you might be able to get over here, but there isn't a way. So you just really, you do have to know that that door is there. That it's really stupid. I thought maybe it was up here, um, but I was wrong, so... Whatever. <laughs> I'll, I'll try and keep complaining about the uh, puzzles to a minimum. I've probably gone on uh, longer than is really necessary already. Um, anyway, now that we hit the um, the uh, red block to switch the um, exclamation point blocks around, uh, we can get to a few new places, which will help us get to the exit. Uh, for one, we're actually blocked off here, so we have to go this way. And um, there's really nothing up here, so... I think I, um, I got Yoshi, but I didn't need to. It's really hard to tell what in this level that I needed to do and what I didn't need to do because when you're running around in circles um, going over the same places it's hard to tell what's actually changing sometimes I guess maybe that's part of the challenge I'm not sure uh, cut out me looping around there a few times But, there's actually, if I could stay down here, there's actually another door there, which, again, would be a little challenging to find. There is a possible uh, way to find it. There is a way to get the, um, the disco light to shine on it, but it's pretty far away, and I forgot to show that, so whatever. Uh, this is actually where we want to go because it'll take us to this place with the shell, which we need the shell in order to get Yoshi again. Because uh, we were kind of blocked off from making any progress if we got Big Yoshi from the um, from the star. So if you remember takes five items, five objects of Yoshi to eat in order to get him big. So we need the shell, the two Koopas, and then the uh, two coins that come from when each of them is bumped out of the shell. I'm having a little difficulty with it, as you can tell. It's not the easiest thing to do in this tight little space, but I did get it eventually. And I ac accidentally hit the uh, fast forward key there. Uh, and didn't realize what was happening. But I got Yoshi, so it's all good. 
we can use him to get the switch here. If we can get off Yoshi. There we go. And then... Uh, God, I don't even remember what the heck I was doing next. Like I said, this took like 23 minutes. And that was when I kind of knew what I was doing. Alright, we have to go up here. I don't know why I really wanted that light on, but I did. Anyway, go up. And then we can go back down. How we got the shell that one time, but we don't need the shell. I grabbed it anyway, just in case though. Um, what this will do though is take us back near the start. After we go through this next pipe. After, well, we don't we don't need to be big either. I was doing a lot of things that I didn't need to do. <laughs> uh, I didn't feel like cutting it out though, because I was, I was at least making some progress. Anyway, we go over here. And then we can ride this thing. And ride it off the screen. Again, not exactly sure how you're supposed to know that it'll do that. But, whatever. And then finally, here's the uh, end of the level. Uh, so you noticed, or you might have noticed, um, that there is a uh, keyhole, or there was a keyhole, and there's another pipe above uh, this level. So there's a secret exit. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to do that. I might just do it when it comes up, like if I need it to progress in a level, but I guess we'll see.